Hey, what's up guys? This is Guy here with KB Trainings. Today I bring you another video on the checkpoint. Here I have the Quantum Spark 1590 and the Quantum Spark 1600. So today I'm going to talk about the SMP or the Security Management Portal. SMP is a cloud-based portal that Checkpoint provides for your enterprise. So if you are a business, you have a lot of locations or a lot of sites across the city or across the country, you can manage all the security on your gateways using the SMP or the Security Management Portal. It's very convenient if you are a large organization or a managed service provider. I worked for a managed service provider in the past and those are the kind of companies that provide provide IT services to other businesses. A lot of business clients with thousands of locations. So let's say, for example, you are supporting McDonald's and McDonald's has almost 5,000 restaurants across the US and your company is managing all the gateways for McDonald's. So you have at least 5,000 gateways in your portal. With the SMP, you'll be able just with a few clicks to learn some updates, to change configurations and to do all kind of tweaks in your gateways from a single portal. So this here is the login page of the SMP. They gave me, I mean, Checkpoint gave me this beta version that I can use for testing and share with you. And if you want to do the same thing, you can pretty much request it and they can create it for you. So here I have my domain or my organization created as KB Trainings and I have a user which is contact with a password. So when I log in in the SMP, we are going to land on the overview page. This is where we have a summary of how many gateways we have connected, how many of them are disconnected and so on. Right now, I don't have any gateway loaded here, but in a moment, I'm going to show you how I'm going to add my two gateways to this portal. And the next menu is a map. This is where we have the map of the US or the world, and we can map all our gateways to know exactly where they are located. And on the gateways, we have the list of all the gateways that we're going to add here. And then we have the plans. The plans are just like the templates. Remember the templates that we created under the Zero Touch Provisioning Portal? It's pretty much the same thing. So you create a plan or a template, and then you attach your gateways to that template so that when you make the changes to the plan, those changes are sent to all the gateways that are attached to that plan. So we're gonna talk about it really soon. And then we have the users. I just have one user, which is me and we have the communities and so on. So I'm going to create a plan and then add some gateways. But before going there, let me show you my uh, zero touch provisioning portal here. Remember in the last video, I showed you how to create a template and everything. And this is one of the best ways for you to deploy your SMP configurations because you can come here inside your template you can come and go under cloud services and put all the information you need to activate SMP on your devices so that the next time your device reboots, it will just come here, fetch the configuration and it's going to connect to the SMP itself. But I'm going to show you one of the easiest way, which is just to do it manually. So we're going to have access to these two devices here. If I come in to this first one, this is the 1590, I can log into it. And we go under Home, Cloud Services. You can see that Cloud Services is not configured. So everything is managed locally on this device. But with the SMP, you have a central management for all your gateways. So we're going to, I'm going to show you how to deal with that. And on this other computer, I have the 1600. We can also log into it right now. And if I go under Home, Cloud Services, it's not configured. All right, so first let's go back on the SMP portal and we're going to create a plan. So to do that, we're going to click on new and give it a name. I'm going to call it KB Trainings Defaults and we can add some description about this plan. So this is the default plan for KB Trainings. All right, and then we go next. These are other services that we can add. We can store gateway logs. This is very convenient. Imagine that we have all the logs from all the different gateways, all the thousands of gateways in a single place. We can send periodic reports. We can even do some uh, firmware upgrades. We can do DDNS on here. Uh, cloud notifications, I think I can skip this one. So we'll go next. So these are the different security configurations we can manage on this plan here. So for now, I'm going just to try to deactivate the IPS and the QS and I will click on finish. And if you take a look under plans, you can see that we have our plan KB Trainings default and we have firewall activated. So the ones that are not activated are showing red here, just like IPS and QoS, and we can change it if you want to. And when you see this, it means that this is managed locally. It's managed on your device on site. So what we're going to do next is go under gateways, and I'm going to add my gateways to this SMP portal. 
So I click on new and give it a name. This one is for the 1590. For description, I'll just say quantum support 1590. And do we want to manage it by SMP? Yes, I agree. And we have a registration key right here. It's gonna be very useful because we're going to need it to add to our device. And that's it, I can just do finish and the device is added. I can also go under gateways and add the second device, which is KB Trainings 1600. So as I told you, you can add this to your zero touch provisioning, but I'm going to add it manually to my device. So let's start with the 1590. All I need is the activation key. The activation key contains all the information that the device needs. We have the domain name of the SMP portal, we have the name of the device and the name of our organization and also the registration key. So I'm just going to copy this and go under my device and home cloud services. I'm going to configure cloud services. I'll just plug in the activation key right here and then click on apply. Oh, it's doing some security updates. So we need to give it a moment. I think I can try it on the 1600. Let's go under configure go under activation details so here i need to insert it manually because it's an, on a different device so i know it's smb and the gateway id is going to be kbt 1600 kb trainings and the registration key i should have it somewhere here so if i check the 1600 so it's f u that's bad and then i click on apply and now it's trying to connect, couldn't connect for some reason, unable to resolve DNS, huh? Or maybe I inserted the bad configuration. Oh, it's SMP, not SMV, sorry. I need to change that. Okay, let's edit. It's SMP. We have P here, apply. Step one of three, connecting to cloud services. Okay, so the updates are done on the 1590. Let's go back to the cloud services and go under configure and put in our activation key and click on apply. Okay, now it's also trying to connect to cloud services. The 1600 is now preparing to fetch the security policy and settings for the first time. So we are pulling our configurations from the SMP and now it's done, we are connected to the SMP. And if I go back here under the security manager portal, you can see that if I refresh it, the 1600 is online and in a moment the 1590 will be online as well okay it's now connected to the smp and if we go back and refresh this both of them are green if you go back under overview you can see that we have two gateways that are connected i can show you the gateways and here they are so what i can do now is show you how i can make some changes to the plan and how these changes are going to be sent to the device so let's go under the admin users and we are going to make some changes there i can go under device administrators right now the users are not managed by the smp i can click on there to manage the users in smp and then i can click on new and add a new user i'm going to call him kb trainings and we'll give it a password okay click on finish save okay and then go under gateways and push this to all my devices by sending a fetch now command. Okay, right away, my session is now expired on the 1600 because he received the update. And here I can log in using KB trainings with KB trainings password and we are in. The 1590 kind of takes some time to pull the configurations. Let's refresh. Okay, I'm logged out, which is a good thing. Uh, let me try to log in with KB trainings and I'm in. So the changes that we are making on the SMP are pushed to the device with the fetch now command. And if I go under users, administrators, you can see I only have one admin, which is KB trainings. Gateway logs will show you all the logs from all your devices. Here you can see the logs from the 1600. We also have some logs from the 1590 somewhere. Okay, here, this is from the 1590. So everything is centralized. You can do some, you can put some filters, you can do some queries and so on. It's very convenient. You also have your system logs here and you have your activity logs. 
And uh, yeah, there's a lot to see here in the SMP. But I'm going to keep it short for now. Um, yeah, this is gold. This is very convenient for managed service providers. This is convenient for big organizations. If you have a lot of sites to manage, this will definitely help. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any question, leave it in a comment. I'll be glad to respond. If you like what I do, don't forget to like the video on YouTube and subscribe to the channel to get more. And follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to see the behind the scene of whatever I'm doing in my network and my project. And if you are studying for the Cisco CCNA 200 301, there is a course available on kbtrains.com that goes from zero to engineer to give you the chance to start or boost your career in the tech industry. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye.